drug use, violence, and vagrancy driving new security measures in Burlington. Good evening. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Darren Perrin. Concerns for safety are leading some property owners to take matters into their own hands. Some now putting up fences to protect their customers. Our Ike Ben David is in downtown Burlington for us tonight. Ike, it sounds like there's even a fence going up at the county courthouse. Yeah, Kat and Darren, this fence, which is just about six feet high, separates the Superior Court and this problem property, 184 Church Street. And I found out this is not the only property in the city adding fencing for safety and security. I'm hoping that it's going to deter uh, a lot of the problems that we're having. Due to what they say is a rise in needles found on the property, people sleeping and camping on the courthouse property, and increased violence. The Chittenden County Superior Court has added fencing on the property at the corner of Main and Church Streets. The first section of the fence to go up separates the courthouse from a nearby problem property at 184 Church Street, which Judge Susan Brown says was a deciding factor. I mean, uh, I think it's going to make it a lot harder for those who are coming from that area of the house behind the courthouse and maybe some of the side streets as well. When complete, the fence will be gated and surround most of the building and the parking lot of the courthouse at a price tag of over $100,000. And I learned it's not the only downtown property which is adding more security measures. The Ronald McDonald House will be increasing their 3 foot 5 inch fence to 4 foot 8 inches to surround their property due to people trespassing and drug use on the property. The city denied the request for a 6 foot fence. And an application for a zoning permit has been filed for a fence and other security measures at the Hilton Garden Inn on Lower Main Street. It's a problem that we've reached the point where proper, private property owners feel they need to, to make those interventions. And we've got to we, we've, we've got to turn that around. Mayor Moreau Weinberger says he is asking for state and federal help to fight issues like drug use and homelessness that face the city. But the mayor says the city will also be going after problem properties like 184 Church Street. The mayor calls it the most problematic property in the city. We're calling for the certificate of compliance to be revoked there until that property can be brought in, into proper compliance and stopping the problem it is in the neighborhood. The property's owner, Charlie Handy, says the people causing the issues don't live on the property and he pays for security to sweep the area every day. If we evicted every single person, where are they going to go? The city can't handle it. They already have homeless people all over the city. They want 20 more? I mean, you know what? We're doing the best we can. Now, it's not clear when the rest of this fence will be put up and the other fences at other properties. As for Handy, he said the problem really got kicked up and started more when cuts were made to the police department. Now, when I was talking with the mayor earlier today, I asked him, will Burlington become a fence city? He defended the city and called it vibrant, but did mention we're seeing an increase in home, the homeless population in the city, which means they've had to increase their policy of enforcing the camping on public lands policy. Reporting live in Burlington, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.